Uh, Robbie Ray with us, former Cy Young Award winner. Pretty fun, nice and early there in Peoria and early into camp. I'm curious, Robbie, just just from a pitcher's perspective. I I didn't play that position. Um, well, I did when I was younger, and I loved it. And you and I have something in common. We both threw a perfecto. I did it versus the North Hill Hillbillies. You did in high school. Oh, I think versus Centennial or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but I am curious. Do you go back like a lot of I don't know quarterbacks, head coaches, and relive and think through games? plays sequences or is once that season done it is flushed and i am all moving ahead to to what's to come yeah i think there's a little bit of both i think you know there's always a time of reflection and and looking back on you know how things went <clears throat> some changes that need to be made um and you know looking back and seeing you know what did i do good what I, what what do i need to work on um but i i also think that you know um you know, I tell guys all the time, like you're you, you're not going to do what you did last year because you're not the same pitcher because you you put those miles on your body, on your arm, you know everything. You, you're going to be a different pitcher. It just it's just the way it's going to be. You know, it's you just got to find that consistency in what it's going to be this year. And and so I, I think for me, it's a little bit of both of looking back, but also you know finding out who I'm going to be this year. You mentioned that adaptability, and, and obviously, you know, you add this two-seamer in the middle of the season, which none of us knew you threw, and all of a sudden it became part of your repertoire. Are we going to see more of that? Is that something you worked on specifically this offseason to now be more of a three-pitch pitcher? What, what should we expect? I, I'm not going to give too much away, but I'm going to say that I have been working on some stuff. Oh. Could there be another new pitch? <laughs> Uh, like I said, I'm not going to give it away, but there could right. be. Let me let me be more pointed. Are you now going to be a knuckleball pitcher? <laughs> that I can tell you I will not be. Okay. All right. So let's I'm not take, at that point in my career yet. Not yet. No, you got about seven or eight more years, and all of a sudden you can start throwing the, <laughs> the knuckleball. All right. Uh, so Scott gave you the first words after you guys clinched. We, we've watched that clip of you guys in the clubhouse together, and you know Julio accidentally pops the champagne and all that, and, and he turns to you. Why you? Uh, me and me and Scott, we developed a really good relationship. Uh, it's it's open back and forth. There's communication constantly, and you know he he puts that trust into me, and I and I trust him as well. And so I think for me, you know, the, that last week of the season, we were kind of leaning on each other uh, a lot, and um, you know, for us to to be in that moment, it kind of was uh, it was special for me for him to to allow me to do that. Robbie, is that characteristic of a partnership? Because that's a term that's been used, not just player coach, manager coach, but it's really, you know, you get to, to your level and it becomes much more of a partnership. Was that emblematic of it? Absolutely. I, I think that's the perfect word for it. As a pitcher, you know, I know as a starter, it's not normal to, you know, lead a team, address a team, et cetera. But when I see you in that spot, it, it makes me wonder, is that is that a, a leadership role that you've stepped up into at times? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for me, I'm at the point in my career where, you know, being that leader, being that guy that, you know, guys can come and talk to and ask questions and hopefully I'll have the answers to them. Uh, I, I feel like I'm kind of at that point in my my career, my life, that, that I am able to answer those questions that, I, you know, maybe I used to have when I was, you know, first coming up. You, you know, I got to ask you about this, and, and I hate to go back to what I'm sure was a, a challenging time, but, you know, for the first time we talked to you since last year and, and what happened in the playoffs. Take me back. You come into the game as a reliever. You're facing Jordan Alvarez. What happened? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for me, we talked about leaning on the fastball, trying to run – a two seam up and in under his hands and you know it, you know it happens uh, you, you you miss your spot and game's over you know it's it's something that you know I'm not used to being in that situation obviously being a starter uh so it was it was a little tough for me to deal with and but I you know had a great group of guys around me that just helped me kind of process that and um but yeah I mean it, it's it, it gets magnified because it's playoffs but uh you know, guys miss their spots, guys hit walk-off homers all year. And so, like, for me, it was just like, it, it, it was uh, it was kind of eye-opening to see, you know, what a, a reliever, what a closer kind of hmm. has to go through on a day-in, day-out basis. 
Is it hard getting that last out of a game? I mean, do you feel a different level of pressure or sort of a different atmosphere in the game? Uh, there's definitely a different atmosphere, uh, but I didn't feel any more pressure than I would just, you know, being in the uh, starting a game. So I, I don't know if there's any more pressure, but the atmosphere is definitely different.